Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Shell Black Whiteboard where we explain an aspect of Salesforce and try to give you some tips and tricks along the way to make you more effective on the Salesforce platform. I'm your host, Shell Black, president and founder of shellblack.com and Salesforce MVP. And this subject is all about mass email. What you can do natively, what you can do with using some other uh, applications and programs. And it's a topic that comes up a lot with my clients. Maybe they came back from Dreamforce and saw all this kind of showy stuff and they want to know, well, what do I get with Salesforce out of the box? And you know, will it meet my needs? And which direction do I need another service provider? How do I, how do I handle emails and mass emails and Salesforce? So I'm going to give you a quick rundown, uh, first starting off with what you can do natively inside Salesforce and kind of the limits and constraints and what you can accomplish. Then we're going to get into another bucket called email service providers, ESPs, and then we're going to get into a, a final bucket called marketing automation platforms. And you can imagine it goes from free to expensive. So let's see, let's go through these categories and these buckets and see where you might fit in terms of your mass email needs. So you can do mass emails inside Salesforce. It's free, it comes with it, but Salesforce puts some pretty hard governor limits on the amount of uh, emails you can send out. So it is free, but you can only do a thousand per day. And this is kind of general. There are also some subtleties between professional edition and, and unlimited edition and enterprise edition. But generally speaking, a thousand a day, and you can send up to 250 emails in a blast. So if you need to send out, say, 4,000 emails, you're going to send out four, uh, a thousand a day over four days, and you're going to break up that day into four blasts to get that, that out. It's manageable, but if you start running uh, email lists of tens of thousands of emails that you need to get sent out in a single day, you're going to have to kind of step up to another solution, which we'll allude to here in a second. Okay, so why would Salesforce put a governor limit of 1,000 emails per day? What they're trying to do is protect their servers and making sure that their business communication gets through. What they're trying to avoid is having kind of a rogue customer inside Salesforce send tens of thousands, if not a million, million emails that's inappropriate and then the internet service providers um, start getting a lot of complaints from their constituents because people are hitting that spam button inside their email client. That comes back and then all of a sudden the internet service providers cut Salesforce off. And so they're trying to make sure that they're protecting their servers and not allowing a flood of inappropriate traffic and having the internet service providers or the ISPs shut them down. So they do this to ensure your business communication goes through. And for many, many years, Salesforce has been very hands-off and allowed all this third-party applications to pick up that gap. And we'll talk about that here in a second. Um, another little uh, constraint of using Salesforce to do mass emails, there's no native can spam compliant way to do that. So there's no unsubscribe button that you can put in your email. There is an option. You can go to the App Exchange, um, and there is a, a little app called Unsubscribe Opt-Out. It's actually made by Salesforce labs. It's a little piece of Apex code and what it'll allow you to do is put a link on the bottom of your emails to unsubscribe um, and it takes care of your can spam compliance. It doesn't come out of the box. You have to download it and use that Apex code. If you're interested in doing uh, mass emailing from Salesforce and you want to learn how to do your HTML templates and those type of things, I've got a lot of tutorials on shellblack.com to learn how to do that. I'll put some links for that in the transcription notes for you. And a couple things that Salesforce does do is it'll let you see bounce rates and if your HTML emails were open, and I'll put some links in the transcription notes of how to run those reports and see your, uh, your open rates and your bounce rates. But one thing that Salesforce does not do is tell you what happened after they opened the email. So if you have a link inside your email that takes them to a landing page on your website, Salesforce is not gonna let you know if they've clicked through that link. They can only tell you if they've opened the email. All right. So with that, you're starting to realize that there's some limitations of native uh, mass email inside Salesforce, and that has opened up the door to a really a big community to come up with some more robust mass email solutions. And if you go to the App Exchange and you search mass email, you're going to find probably 50, if not 100, uh, vendors out there that do mass email. You've probably heard of a lot of them: Constant Contact, Ver Vertical Response, Eye Contact, Mailchimp. There are plenty out there. I'm not endorsing any. I'm just ripping some off here. So email service providers, a little different. They typically charge by the number of emails you send. So typically by uh, per thousand emails sent. They usually give you a lot more templates to choose from. So if you don't want to really get good at HTML, there's going to be a lot more templates. Salesforce doesn't really provide a whole lot in terms of templates. 
It will be can span compliant. They will provide a method for people to opt out of your emails. Um, you'll still have to do some list management. So there's probably going to do some uploads and downloads. And some of them, depending on which ones you pick, there might be some light integration with Salesforce. And I mean by light, it might be only one way. So it's not going to be dynamically pulling information and creating dynamic campaigns. But if you upload a list, it may potentially write back to Salesforce and show you your open rates, your click-through rates, and those type of things. Check each vendor, uh, have them do a demo, so make sure you understand what you're getting with those, because it varies quite a bit. Um, same thing you should do. If you're going to do a lot of mass emails um, through an ESP, through an e email service provider, they will shut you down fairly quickly if you have a low quality list. So if you buy a list off the street of 30,000 people in your industry and you mass email all 30,000 of them, if you get a lot of bounces or a lot of complaints, the email service provider will shut you down fairly quickly and not let you email anymore. So what I would recommend is take a small sampling, maybe four or 500 uh, people out of that list, test that first, see what the quality of the list is first before you risk the 30,000 emails that you just bought. Okay, I'm going to switch to the next big bucket and what I'm going to call marketing automation platforms. Not trying to do an endorsement, but the ones that most people think about are going to be Eloqua, Marketo, Peridot, and probably Acton. And there's going to be some others, so if I miss some, I, I apologize. A little bit different pricing model. Typically, they are an all-you-can-eat pricing model, so they don't charge you in the number of emails they, you send, but typically the number of valid email addresses in your database, both leads and contacts. So that's great if you want to do a lot of nurturing email campaigns and you're going to send a lot of emails out. They charge by the number of email addresses rather than the number you send. They come with a lot more features. They do other things than just mass email. So they can do lead scoring. They can track the kind of engagement or interaction that, that your customers are having or your potential customers are having on, say, your website. Um, they have other features like you know, white papers and managing your downloads, uh, managing your landing pages, uh, creating extra forms on your website. They also allow you to do dynamic campaigns. So you might have one campaign that's a nurture campaign to acquire clients, and you might have another campaign that is for retention, so the clients that you already have. And you can have cascading waterfalls. You can do A-B testing of subject lines and landing pages and other type of messaging. These usually have full integration, two-way. They're usually real-time looking at your data in Salesforce and triggering activities. You create these campaigns completely outside of Salesforce in their platform. They're just leveraging the data inside your platform to trigger off of and to pull those email addresses off of. These are not small projects. These are expensive projects. These can be just as involved as implementing Salesforce huge projects. So kind of three huge buckets, but trying to give you some idea where you might land. Native mass email, an email service provider, or a marketing automation platform. One of the reasons I wanted to bring this topic up is because 2013 was a big year for marketing uh, in, in the Salesforce world. And a couple things happened that kind of made big news. So Eloqua, which is kind of the granddaddy marketing automation platform uh, for Salesforce, was, was bought by Oracle. And Salesforce bought Exact Target, an ESP that also owned Peridot, a marketing animation program, for the princely sum of $2.5 billion. That was a huge acquisition for Salesforce. And a lot of people want to know what that's going to do. So I'm not going to do a whole lot of predictions, but in the past, Salesforce has stayed out of mass email, and then they went out and bought a company that was doing mass email. So some big news uh, about marketing automation and mass email this year. We could go on about that, but something to kind of look into. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that, a little overview of mass email, some of the options depending on the size of the company and your use cases. If you have any feedback for us, we would love to hear it. You can hit us on email at whiteboard at shellblack.com. You can also reach me on Twitter, shell underscore black. Uh, on Twitter, we would love to hear from you, and we'll talk to you soon.